All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have done this before, right? But it was a very, very long time ago. When I first visited this topic, double modeling, right, was the big feature of pro subscription. And now it's kit bashing. So let's talk about it. How good is kit bashing really? And is it worth it? Before I say anything, I, I want to add a disclaimer that I do collaborate with Sky Castle, so feel free to call BS on anything that I say here and call me a shill, but I'm going to endeavor to be honest and unbiased from start to finish. People who have been with my channel for a long time know that I have not been afraid to criticize them in the past, and I can promise that Sky Castle has never asked me to do any advertisement for them. So, let's get to it. There will be chapters at the bottom of the video, so if you want to see any particular topic on this, feel free to skip ahead. Let's start with kit bashing. It is a pretty fantastic update and an incredible addition to Heroforge. Like, for the longest time, this little model-making community was basically just one big silly contest about who could learn the goofiest tricks to cheesily create proportions and outfits and items that didn't actually exist in the program. But with kit bashing, all of that becomes unnecessary. So let's just quickly summarize what you can actually do with kit bashing. You can spawn in any item from any of the usual Heroforge menus. Clothing, gear, hairstyles, whatever. You can resize, reshape, and rotate them however you want and place them literally anywhere you want. You can snap on and attach any of these items anywhere you want, allowing you to glue pieces together and then scale and post them in perfect sync with one another to create entirely custom items and objects of your own. Any item or model that has several joints can be edited separately in different areas. For example, you could remove the arm off of a chest piece or you could separately scale different parts of a model's body, like shrinking down the hands or lengthening the legs if you want more photorealistic proportions. Last but not least, you can pose basically anything in any way, whether it's individual items or the character models themselves. I, I can't even begin to describe just how creative you can get with this system if your brain is big enough. Fundamentally, at its core, kit matching breaks all of the old rules of Heroforge to create complete model making freedom. Except, not entirely though, right? There are some limitations with kit bashing. I won't spend forever digging into the details of every single one of them. The, the 20 item cap limiting just how creative you can get is one known example. Another issue is the like occasional lag spikes that come when you import things or when you use the system, same as you know face customizer had at the beginning. But I mean really, these are nitpicks, right? Like, And more importantly, Skankastle has also made clear that they plan to continuously update the system and improve on it over time. For example, they have promised that they are going to expand on and create more joints and items that are currently single joint like a lot of gear items. That means in the future that, for example, a sword like this might get more joints and you could edit the hills separately from the blade and yada yada yada. But let's get to the real elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure this is where most people clicked on the video. Kit bashing being pro subscribers only. Now, I think that there's a lot of nuance and angles to this, so bear with me, okay? For starters, I will say that this is not really new to Heroforge. A year or so ago, it used to be that double modeling was pro only, and that meant that there, th there was this massive similar gap between the model layers with subscription and those without it, but obviously, like, I won't pretend that there's a perfect comparison. Kit bashing is much more user-friendly and versatile than double modeling was, meaning that obviously many more people want it, and thereby even more people who are upset that it is behind a paywall. Now, the flip side of this argument is pretty obvious too. Heroforge is a free program where the vast majority of updates continue to stay free. Double modeling is now free, for example. There are Treasure Tuesday updates bringing new items every single week, and the Face Customizer update came out for absolutely everyone as well. Like, if you ignore the existence of kit bashing, then Heroforge for free users has actually never been better than it is today. You can create better and more advanced models with zero money now than you could even with a pro subscription a year ago. It is a pretty generous service as far as digital model making goes, but obviously comparison is the thief of joy, so I do understand why people struggle to ignore kit bashing's existence in its entirety. I think there are two sides to this issue, right? To start with, <laughs> look, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest and say that I personally think that it is fair enough that kit bashing is behind the pro subscription wall. Heroforge is a free service and kit bashing is a system which mostly impacts the digital creation of models as opposed to the printable ones. It's also kind of an experimental system which I feel is more likely to be of interest to the turbo nerds as opposed to the casuals. It's worth remembering that a majority of people who use Heroforge are not that deep in this community and really just open the program to try and create you know like their own Dungeons and Dragons character or whatever. Having this whole other menu where you have to drag out and reshape and snap items around might be noob friendly in comparison to the old double modeling layer tricks, but it's still pretty damn advanced for any beginner, you know, it's not noob friendly on its own. Most of those people stick to the clothing and the gear menus and the posing menus and like they're happy with that and that's great. That silent majority of hero forges would probably cringe at hearing somebody even try to explain what, you know, double modeling layering is and that's how it's supposed to be, right? That's that's the ideal. And more than that, there are a lot of subscriptions out there that are far more expensive than hero forges. I mean, Netflix, Spotify, 
gym cards, whatever. Comparative to these things, I think Hereforge Pro is actually a pretty decent deal. But, and, and of course, there is the other side. Like, it is not really about whether or not Sky Castle has the right to put kit bashing behind the paywall. In my opinion, I, th I think that they do. You know, they provide a free service, they have to make money somehow. What does worry me personally is the potential split in the community, that it might demotivate the community regulars who don't want to or are not able to pay for the pro subscription. And that subsection of people definitely does exist, right? I know there are some really talented regulars in my own community, for example, who have been around for years and have never used pro. And I hope that those people don't end up feeling alienated by not having kit bashing. I, like, I also personally have not really figured out how I will balance my own Hereforge video content around these two groups having, you know, entirely different limitations. But hopefully I will get there. Like, if anyone has any genius suggestions in the chat, please do let me know. However, and yes, you'll hear my voice a bit different here, as this news came in the middle of making this video. I didn't record this at the same time as everything as everything else. But I wouldn't worry that much if you were like a non-pro user. Sky Castle is going to keep on producing updates for Heroforge, most of which I anticipate will be for all users and not just pro. For example, the CEO just threw out this tweet here. Now, this might be very early in development. You know, we never know what this exactly means, but this is one example of something that would definitely make it bashing less of a must if it comes out just throwing it out there body customizer would be pretty damn awesome i hope this is real but you know time will tell so what is the ultimate takeaway and the conclusion here you know i've gone over both sides as well as i can i think ultimately uh kit bashing is awesome and if you are regularly spending time on hereforge and you're interested in getting a subscription then i would say that you'd be getting more for your money now than ever before there's no denying that hereforge pro is more worth it now than ever before and with no lack of personal bias i you know i'm admitting my bias here at least i would personally recommend it yes this is not even, you know, mentioning the plethora of other conveniences that Hereforge Pro brings. You know, I'm only focusing on kit bashing now, but like all the other old things are still there. You know, creating your own library of colors, creating folders for your models, accessing the community library, lighting, the booth options and transparent exporting, you know, the list goes on. But, and, and the, the, there is a, a big but here, right? Free Heroforge without Pro is also better than ever before. With all the new slimmed down items, with face customizer, with double modeling, the basic free version is also more extensive than it ever used to be. And it's perfectly sufficient for people who don't want to go absolutely crazy with their models, you know? The real takeaway, I think, is that the entire program has improved exponentially and not just for the people who pay a subscription fee. But look, I mean, I mean it, it, it is a nuanced issue and there there are understandably a lot of different takes on it. I would be very interested to hear what everyone else thinks in the comments, so please do let me know. Lynch me if you have to. I'm, I, I will welcome it. And finally, a special thanks to my Patreons who support this channel. Where the box, Deus Mercurius Magna, Ghosty GM, Ken Hayes, Nicholas A. Paul, Camellius, and Stoat Dross. You guys are the real heroes. Now, until next time, farewell.